make sure everything's all good to go. I'm pretty sure that looks like yesterday's stream. Anyway, looks like we're all set, ready, ready to go, ready and rolling. So Pokemon just got updated today, and thankfully I've had to work all morning, so therefore I couldn't participate in all of that good shit. Uh, so here I am now, only at the end, realizing uh, that I can actually start, start playing it. Uh, anyway, I knew that I couldn't, but that's beside the point. Uh, so... <laughs> when last we met, I was attempting to get a shiny Eevee. Oh, guess fucking what, bro? Guess what I got? Finally! Uh, just a couple days ago, I got myself... One, uh, one good old shiny Eevee. Uh, we're gonna make this Eevee a Sylveon. So that I can complete my collection of shiny Eevee evolutions. Literally 20 bird Pokemon after that, I got this. Like, it took me 19 eggs, and I got a shiny Rookie D. Currently, I'm attempting to get a shiny uh, Ponyta, but uh, that's taking a lot longer. Anyway, let's quickly get this Eevee up to level 2. <laughs> Uh, we're just going to give it... We're just going to give it one of these guys. Or, actually, you know what? I have taught it a, a, a fairy move. So, it should do what it needs to do. Wait. Fucking hell. Wasn't it just a fairy move? Did I get it wrong? <laughs> oh, friendship. Shit. I need friendship. We got lots of shitty berries. I probably don't. Mace. Makes it more friendly. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna feed it all of these. <laughs> Get ready to eat a whole lot of berries, Evie. I wonder if it's friendly enough now. <laughs> I just I just fed it 51 of one type of berry. Um, there we go. Alright, 51 berries makes an Eevee very happy. <laughs> Eevee's evolving. I should do something about my... AC... You know, that's adorable. Was that all worth it? Was that worth months of searching for a shiny Eevee? Uh, yes. Good 
Cool. Cool. Uh, so the next one that I want... The next thing that I'm going to do before we really get onto anything is I'm going to put this in my... in the appropriate place. Because here we have... We have a shiny Eevee. And, uh... I've got Vaporeon, Joseon, Clarion, Espeon, Umbreon, Leafeon, Glaceon, and then now Sylveon. Okay, great. We're going to do one more thing. Hey there, Silver. I finally got a shiny Eevee. And also got a shiny bird. It's a shiny Karen. Yes. Me too. I greatly enjoy them shiny things. Want to know one more thing? So we're going to take this rookie D and we're going to we're going to make it bigger. <coughs> yeah, don't worry about that yet. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. We're gonna take our little shiny Eevee. No, shiny Rookie D. Uh, it goes fine. I'm excited because today is a Pokemon day. Into a Corvusquire. And after we finish getting these uh, evolutions, Uh, we're going to go to the new area and see all the new things. Ah, shit. Didn't mean to do that. There we go. That's the level. New things means new experiences and new friends along the way. One might think. Anyway, our shiny Cobra Squire. Becomes a shiny Corva Knight. It actually looks like it's in armor, which is actually kind of cool. Very cool. All right. That Sylveon is trash. <laughs> All right, they're gonna take this Corviknight. So basically, it it should look like this, but now it looks like this, and this Pokemon is now trash. <laughs> garbage, like actually garbage. Uh, we're gonna hatch five eggs. Uh, so that I can just take that out of my mind, just get that 
gone. Then we can focus completely. Yeah, get the breeding. <laughs> Dude, I have been doing so much breeding. Um, the fairy ponyta is my current uh, target. So, yeah. We'll see. I definitely... Dude, the day that I got Shiny Eevee, uh, I was so incredibly happy. I I immediately swapped to uh, the Corviknight Pokemon. And um, I got... I got 19 eggs total. I had a Shiny by the time that I hit 15 eggs. So it took me like an hour to get a Shiny one of those things. It was... It's the it's the luckiest shiny that I've ever freaking got, like on my own, like aside from just like running into a shiny that you're like supposed to get. It's the it is by far the luckiest shiny that I've ever had. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to get the the shiny pony time. But I'm excited to see, uh, should name it Lucky. <laughs> Lucky star. Um, I'm excited to get to the new area because there's lots of things to check out. I just had to, we had to finish, we had to finish some business first. To leave on a clean slate. One more. You are so lucky I don't know Japanese. <laughs> oh my Itachi. Uh, who does? Who knows? Who does know freaking Japanese? Seriously. Do the Japanese even know Japanese? Alright, we got five trash Pokemon ready to go. According to them, no. <laughs> they mix up as much as us, yeah. No, I, I imagine so. I will say, these guys, they're pretty decent. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what else it is time for? It is time to equip the team. They are all at least level 90. So we should, really shouldn't have any trouble, but yeah, we got we got our shiny Rotom, shiny Inteleon, shiny Frostmoth, shiny Grudra, shiny Chandelure, and shiny Golden Slowpoke. The team. <laughs> um also, oh, shit. I mean, they, they look fucking great. Real quick. There's always new business, I swear to God. Always new business. Yeah, shiny's better than that. Okay. Um, the cool thing is we can turn that thing into a shiny uh, mega evolved bird. Um, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready.
right, which is the train station we need to go to? This one. I have no idea what button I just pushed. Anyway, how are you doing today? Oh, I forgot. There's more business. <laughs> uh, card maker. Update. Print it. I've been a coffee boy today. Oh, that's no good. Oh, the number is 45. Jesus Christ. We better change that. It's not the Rona, is it? <laughs> you haven't got yourself the Rona? Alright, now we can go. Presumably not. It's more like an itch in my throat than a dry cough. Good. I would hate to see anybody that I know get that terrible disaster of a, of a disease. Oh, that's an armor pass. With that pass, you can go to the Isle of Armor. Where would you like to go today? Armor Station, of course. Anything new with you, aside from the Pokemains? Uh, not really. We're here. We're actually here. It exists. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? I'm researching bio Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register your Pokemon you catch on this island on to your Pokedex, right? I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. Pokedex is being updated. The Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to your Pokedex. When you've got a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your, your Pokedex. Dude, I could go to Pokemon Home right now and finish it. <laughs> uh, I will, I'll save that. I'll save that for a little bit. But first, let's check something out here. I love armor decks. That's a good number to know. All right, so we're, we're at 1 of 8 of 1 of 8. 1 of 8 of 1 of 8. That's what we're at right now. That's actually good to know. That's that's good. There are some gaps, but that's fine. We'll fill those gaps. We'll fill them so good. I mean, it's not all of them, so there we go. Um, there's only a couple new Pokemon here, so I don't have to be too worried about it. But that makes me very happy. Also, we're going to save. <laughs> also, wait. Yeah. What do you say now? Let me see. Current progress in the Isle of Armor Pokedex is 108 out of 108. 100 Pokemon. I've been dreaming of this moment. I think maybe we're halfway there. Thanks to you, my research is going very well. All right. I'm supposed to join the dojo on the island today, but there's a strange person standing outside the station. I'm a little bit scared to head out. What are the letters? What letters?
on the shop sign. It's the it's whatever language they use in Pokemon. <laughs> there you are. Right on time too. You're pretty punctual for a kid. Huh. Hey, have we met before or something? Doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm Clara. I've been at the dojo a while, and they sent so they sent me to help out the newbie. Uh, what dojo? Oh, come on! I know you're the new student who's supposed to join the Master Jojo. What's going on? Am I being mocked by a kid? But I'm the colorful, caring, and charismatic Clara. Well then, how about we have a quick battle? Just so, you know, we can see who's better. I'll be waiting, waiting outside, so come out when you're ready. She, sound, she reminds me of uh, Splatoon. She'll never know what hit her. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, it's it's literally just the the language the language of my people. <laughs> All right, what do you what do you got what do you got for me? Anything that I need? Nah. All right, let's go say hi. She does look pretty squid, pretty kid, <laughs> pretty squid now. <laughs> I bet this is your first time on the Isle of Armor. I bet you can't wait to start exploring, but first things first, we need to make sure you're ready. Since I've already been at the Master Dojo for a little while now, I'll be the one testing you out. Go easy on me, okay? How about no? You're challenged by Pokemon trainer, Clara. She's uh, really pushing that button. Benipede. <laughs> Remember, it's just the desk, so take it easy. I'll be nice and gentle, as I'll knock you out flat. Oh, you're level 58? Oh, I'm sorry. Look, the first damage you took on the Isle of Armor. Consider it a little gift from me. <laughs> Later. She steps on men with heels, I can tell. <laughs> it's possible. Pokemon Trainer Clara is about to send out Slowpoke. But yeah, I'll switch. I'll switch. Uh, how about we do... Do the we'll do Rotumbus. Also shiny. How oh, am I not the one getting backed into a corner? This should not be happening. Sad. Real sparky boy? Yeah. Oh, my next Pokemon's gonna make short work of... Huh? That was my last one. You sure showed me! Lady. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no! There, this, there must be some mistake! Not good, not good at all. Man, how'd, how'd this kid get so strong? This kid's join if this kid joins the dojo, nobody's gonna pay any attention to my strength. I could just tell her to buzz off. No, they asked me to bring in the new student. <laughs> hey, that wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I was going all out. Not at all, but still. But you see, our dojo is one that's got a long standing reputation. Even the famous cha famous champion Leon trained at our place. No offense, but maybe, just maybe, you're not quite good enough to make it. Is it, is it this end game stuff? Why is she so low? Uh, that's probably the only thing that I don't necessarily, or that I've heard about the uh, level things. Uh, I'll go over that here in just a second. 
Uh, so how about this? Why not enjoy the sights, but just stay away from the Master Dojo over there, okay? Here, I'll even give this to you. You know, as a souvenir. You obtain a style card. A uh, card that increases the selection in boutiques and hair salons. There's more things to buy. Okay. Just show it when you visit a boutique or a hair salon. And they'll let you buy stuff that's not available to most people. Anyway, bye. I guess that's that. See you never. <laughs> um, so basically they said that the like the the Pokemon's levels will sort of scale uh, to the player and their Pokemon. Uh, but I believe that for the most part, or so I've heard, the Pokemon levels are going to be around... Uh, that's a giant Waylord. I want to touch that. Uh, the Pokemon levels are going to be around um, basically 60 to like 80 at the most. I think, which is kind of a bummer. I could just go completely off the beaten path and not do any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, this can happen basically like whenever in the game. But I think it still does have like a relative range of... Uh, of what Pokemon levels you're going to see. People were kind of hoping that you would see like level 100 Pokemon if your Pokemon were, le were level 100, but I don't think that that's going to happen. Like, let let's check out what this Jigglypuff is, which I think this is a new Pokemon. If I remember right. Yeah, 60. So we're not going to see a lot of crazy things here. You know what? I should turn on the fight moves again. How's it supposed to scale if it isn't e if, if it's not your scale? Yeah, no, I know. I mean, basically, at the end of the game, everything went to level 60. That was just, like, that was the deal. Like, level 60 is level 6. That, that's just what it is, so. Uh, battle effects. Yeah. You've been real happy these past couple days, yeah. What's your, what what what's been what's been giving you the uh, the smile points? Yeah, you weren't damaged yet. Uh, Chloe X Halley released a new album called Ungodly Hour, and I have been living with it. <laughs> That's cute. Shall we see what's in the grass? Oh, look, it's another Beniri. Hooray. Um, well, that's good. New music to jam to. Do you listen to that stuff while you've been uh, while you've been working? Well, that's kind of sad. Should have used earthquake. <laughs> God damn it. 
Uh, very Siren-esque shit. Very Ophelia, by the water kind of jams. Working shower with the gentleman callers. It's been on all the time. <laughs> Just letting, letting that rhythm flow. Alright, I don't think I'm really going to find anything else there. Why don't we try a spot of fishing? You know one of them... You know one of them, or know of her anyway. Wait, what? I like the little X's that show up on the eyes when Slowpoke gets hit. <laughs> oh, also, I should probably put my uh, Pokemon into a different box. Ali is the actress from the new Little Mermaid. I mean, I wouldn't know her outright, but I'll take your word for it. Also, where did those Pokemon go that I just caught? Did I catch or destroy the Jigglypuff? I have a feeling that I may have unwittingly... Yeah, I destroyed it. I didn't catch it. <laughs> I'm so used to destroying every Pokemon that I meet. i uh, also been talking to a couple of new pals. Argued about Sasuke and Naruto. <laughs> Alright, I need another Jigglypuff. Um, I have him. Well, that's good. They into uh, the anime as much as you are. <laughs> Delving into the finer points of uh, of um, of Naruto. Really? Uh, you also been arguing about a lot of Glee and, and Avatar. <laughs> okay, I'm, I think I'm just going to go for this one. Because I'm pretty sure Baneri was one that I hadn't caught. Yeah, okay. Great. Now that 109 out of 109 is perfect. It sounds like you've been ha able to have lots of... <laughs> lots of great, stimulating, intellectual conversations. Which is good. It's good to have that. Alright, we're gonna make this 110 out of 110. 
I need more quick balls. <laughs> what could say? Have you been getting out a little bit more? At least trying within reason? As long as it's safe. Try and read the freaking things. Alright, let's see what's out here. Alright, we got Wingo. These little islands kind of remind me of, like, Wind Waker stuff. Played outside, pretty much it. Not going out right now, just with the virus and now the protests. Races have been getting especially bold these days. Yeah, damn right, man. If you weave together Gal Gal Galarica, Galarica twigs, you can make a bracelet. If you gave me if you give me eight Galarica twigs, I'll weave a Galarica cuff for you. Do you want one? Yes. Also, is that just like a, a wild Rotom wind? <laughs> Every time one of them loses a job, it's a sexier day. Yes. And have I got anything that would be good against this? Shadow Ball be fine. Oh, that's bad. I'd forgotten that I was at that low health. Alright, who's good against you? You are wind type? Rotom v Rotom. Oven versus fan. <laughs> Who wore it better? Kinda cool to see one of them out in the wild. Let's um revive this boy. <laughs> I need to get him evolved. But before I can do that, I need to learn how to do the evolve. Alright, that's a tentacle. What the fuck is that? Oh! It's a Sharpedo! Do you think you'll trample any... Once we go outside while the prices are still low? No. No, I highly doubt. Shit, bro. It's too early to use uh, Dusk Ball. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I like Sharpedo. Sharpedo's cool. While we're in the water, I should probably swap who's out front. As soon as it catches the scent of prey, Sharpedo will, will jet seawater from its backside. Hurtling toward the target to attack at 75 mile per hour. Does that mean that it, like it farts water to go fast? Huh? 
Also, Silver's going to head out. I'm going to get a pizza, then watch Fire Breather. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, have fun. Have a nice, relaxing night. Who has electric moves, please? Gudra does. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going to beat him all up. Totally. <laughs> These, uh, Sharpedo really want to freaking play. Guja looks so cute, so very happy. Happy to destroy this shark head. <laughs> What's this island thing over here? Yeah, I'm being tailed. Toxic orb. Cool. Also, I really like the color of this sand. There's the one of the towers. I could go in there. I want to see how far out I can get. I have a feeling that it's it's only as far as uh, as these waves are. Yeah. Are any of these? Oh, they are. There's one of them. I want to find uh, one of the ones with a uh, Zerora. Who are you? Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi there, Clauncher. Uh, you're gonna get caught. I'll catch as many as I can, and then after today's session, I will see where I am, and maybe I'll just transfer over a whole bunch of Pokemon from Pokemon home. Let's finish up that Dex. See what prizes you get for completing it, if anything. Pontra's claws can fall off during battle, but they'll regenerate. The meat inside the claws is popular as a delicacy in Galar. Oh god. <laughs> so do people just like wait around battle zones where they're fighting clonchers just to catch the uh the uh declawed uh launcher claws for food reasons yeah, he's coming he wants me <laughs> uh, let's go in here. I think I'm already being tracked. Oh, I was wrong. Also, I'm trying to remember if Tentacool and Tentacruel were part of the uh, the previous game. They were, weren't they? Because they're, like, in every fucking thing. I need to check. Because if somehow they aren't, I need to go catch them. I guess I need to catch them. Shit. I 
I just could have sworn that I saw a freaking tentacle and tentacruel and everything, so... Oh well, that's fine. Easy enough. Also, I need to find out how to get the uh, upgrades to the Rotom bike. From that customization and all that shit. Well, admit that's the first time in a long time that I've ever caught one of you on purpose. Pentacool is not a particularly strong swimmer. It drifts across the surface of shallow seas as it searches for prey. Alright, now if I can get lucky, I can actually just find a Tentacool. Also, I should head to that. Ah, <laughs> oh, those guys are fucking funny. Here, just makes my life easier. Hurricane. Nothing new there. I think that's a squavid. Oh, it's Chansey! Also, I kind of wonder if they have a different Pokemon coming out of these trees. I doubt it. I'll find out, eventually. Oh, those are the things that I need aid of to get that Galarica Cuff. There's a Chansey in here. Fuck, man. Or is this just Squavit territory? You, my friend, need some PP ups. Make you just a little bit more viable. Papini. <clears throat> Your soul is mine. Got a freaking level 60 baby Pokemon. <laughs> what a trip. In making Chansey, uh, Happini will place an egg-shaped stone in, it, in its belly pouch. Happini will treasure this stone. Oh, execute. No need to fight. Ah, uh, nah. Oh, come on. 
Yes. <laughs> That's right. I get a higher attack with the grass attacks. Come on, it's an ultra ball. And you're just eggs. look like it's just a bunch of eggs it's a proper pokemon execute communicates with others of its kind via tele telepathy apparently all right let's get out of here well i want another I want another chancy to appear And it's not like I want to just sit here and grind. I'm already high enough level. I kind of want to keep him a little bit lower just for the purposes of evolution. Although I know that if it's a level item, I can evolve still. So let's just let's just move on. For now. All right, we're going to go to this beam. We're going to kind of head back the other way. And uh, partake in the story of the expansion. Really? Nothing here? <laughs> I feel like I'm being uh, flanked. Don't invite. Low honey. Another Pokemon which I need to catch. A Dynamax. Get a big shiny boy. We'll just keep an eye out for Zerora. Because we get to defeat him a million times. Y'all get a shiny. And <laughs> that's what I want. That was not as much as I was hoping. Is it going to go armor, like, right away? Yeah. Okay, great. What star was this? I don't remember. <laughs> it has to be, like, four or five star. Yeah, it's just Max Knuckle, it's fine. 
It'll, it'll be super effective. Hopefully it'll uh, do some like splash damage with the hit. What level is this guy? That's a good move. Why didn't you use that before? Alright, I get one more hit, which will take two of its little things off. Nice. Thanks. Tokopi. Wow. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that with... Um, With the increased Pokemon, you'd get like a few extra like Pokemon trainers. Maybe the Pokemon trainers that have like different Pokemon than you usually see. Because a lot of these guys just aren't very useful. Way to go, Pikachu. Nice. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. It was so close. All right, we're going to go for the catch. And in here you use them dusk balls. A bunny is constantly monitoring its surroundings. If danger approaches, this Pokemon responds with super destructive kicks. It can stay right where it is. <laughs> oh, cool, I'm not being attacked anymore. Great. I want to check out what's in here. I hear it. It's coming. Loop Lagoon. Here we go. The Tentacruel. Get it, please. Get it. What's going on in Loop Lagoon? Oh, bird. <laughs> but a lot of people are probably pretty happy that this guy's back. 
Wasn't this guy like Speed King? I think I remember people just getting him to put, like, Brave Bird and shit on it. Fletchinger launches embers into the den of its prey. When the embers come... When the prey comes leaping out, Fletchinder's sharp talons finish it off. Jesus, that's mean. <laughs> Vicious! Was that a talon flame? Yeah. Were you a Pokemon that existed or no? Okay, cool. Time to catch you too. Also, why are we why are we on grass when we were on beach just like a second ago? Breaks the illusion. <laughs> A whole lot of sand castles. Oh my gosh. I saw the most awesome Pokemon ever. I can show you it's an awesome Pokedex entry for just 100 watt if you like. Sure. Fletchling. It's not that completely... Is that not completely totally awesome? You'll find different Pokemon depending on the weather. Make sure you search every day. Big Bird. All right, let's see if we can go with the go for the quick catch. Please, please, give me that goodness. Shit. I need to buy some balls. Specifically quick balls if I can. Quick balls and ultra balls. Fine, I'll hit you. <laughs> I'll hit you if that'll make you happy. Uh, what won't kill it? Perhaps. Nice. There we go. We got the we got the super mega catch. No, it did the it did the wobble. Does that not mean, like, a guaranteed, like, critical capture? Or did I just see it incorrectly out of the corner of my eye? Get in the fucking ball. <laughs> you're nearly dead. One more hit for me and you're gone. Okay, that was the good thing. Okay, great. Great. <sighs> it's too much. Talonflame mainly preys on, upon other bird Pokemon. To intimidate opponents, it sends embers spewing from gaps between its feathers. 
Let me see that shit. Oh shit, I'm a bit off. We should still be good. Still good. Now we're done. Wait, was that a... Was that a Larvesta? I don't know. It, it could have been a club of puss, but it just looked it looked different. Yeah, it totally is. Get it, get it. I'm not taking this shit where you break out of balls when I throw them. Try another. Jesus Christ. I'm afraid to hit it. do Thunderbolt. That shouldn't be too bad. Larvesta. The people of ancient times believed that Larvesta fell from the sun. Nope. Fancy apple. Tart apple. Okay. Something over there on the island. Artillery. Jar of sea incense. Larvesta? Really? Oh good, it's actually like a fletchling. Catch him now, and uh... 
finish the finish the chain. I've caught them a little bit out of order. <laughs> I wish I could use the uh, repeat balls. But technically I haven't caught them. Its melodious cries are actually warnings. Fletchling will mercilessly peck at anything that enters its territory. Alright, so the... <laughs> the Pokedex entries remain violent throughout. Great. They see a theme and they hold on to it. Dreadnaw. Who's, oh, it's a Dwebble. That's a cave. What's in there? Psy Shock. Alright, I'm kind of thinking that we go see the cave. Rados. Hello. Gorgeous cavern. So is this girl just around to show you Pokedex, en Pokedex entries? To sort of like tell you who you can catch? My god. Oh. You want to trade Glarian Meow. Okay. I have you. Oh, Whiskash. I like this Pokemon. This is one of my favorites. Catch up a name and Wario. Nah. Oh no, you exist. I don't. I don't know why I thought that you were a new Pokemon. I do like Whiskash though. Whiskash is cool. One of my favorite typings. Water ground. I don't know why I didn't add him to my uh, to my party. got here. <laughs> Polyworld or Polyrath. Uh, water. You know what? Gudra's actually fine. Gudra's okay for this. Water fighting. Yeah.
Gudra will do just fine. I'm gonna go for the catch just because he's a uh, he's in a Dynamax den. I guess I would have gotten the stab if I had gone with uh, gone with Rotom, which would. I don't know. It really doesn't matter. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate that so much. <laughs> Later, Togebi. Oh, focus, Sash Boy. Maybe that didn't do anything for, like, keeping you alive. I right, just... One of you has to hit him. Wait, did Halucha's move miss? That's not fair. All right, more lightning. Eevee, could you please just attack? You've got so much barrier to burn through. <laughs> Somehow Togepi's just holding the fuck on here. Getting some extra damage, that's great. <laughs> Focus Sash. What does this move do? Oh shit. I was gonna say we we were doing so good without uh <laughs> without any KOs. We got we we got this. It's fine. It's fine. Can't seem to hit us for shit.
You and me fighting, man. <laughs> you and me. Find out if he was a new Pokemon to this area. When there was Polyrath. Emerite Ore. I don't know what that's for. Oh, he was new! Alright. Uh, its body is solid muscle. When swimming through cold seas, Polyrath uses its impressive arms to smash through drift ice to, and plow forward. Polyrath is cool. I like him. He's a classic boy. Is this the beginning area? Yeah, it totally is. Okay, great. Bye. <laughs> the Courageous Cavern. Wait, was it the Courageous Cavern or the Glamorous or Gorgeous? I Did I really read that that wrongly? Rudagon. He looks really cool. I like the way that he looks on this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Become mine. Come on, I'm a dragon, you're a dragon. Come on. We should be buddies. I hope this works because we're in a cave. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Dredagon lives in caves, but it never skips sunbathing. It won't be able to move. Its body gets too cold. So it must be super, uh, super cold-blooded. Okay, let's see who's in here. Golduck. Uh, are you the right Pokemon for this? Not necessarily. Your electric fire. Yes, yeah, I guess it's still Gudra. Never mind. Or never mind. 
And he's five stars. We're gonna have to deal with all the fucking uh oh, the fucking nonsense of the barrier. Wait, is, is Wabuffet in, on, on my team right now? Wabuffet and Togepi? And Snorlax will just use the, the two turn hit thing every time. What is it? Is it Focus Blast that he uses? Oh my god. I have a shitty team. He's not as strong as the poly the polywrath, that's for sure. I can dig that. That counterattack is why Wobbuffet is so fucking useless in this shit. God, he took that like a tank. Crunch. <clears throat> All right, here comes the second barrier. I think I get one more attack at it. Yeah. Go home. <laughs> go become a go become omelet. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those things that they could have done an update with. Oh my god, he actually got an attack off. I have almost, almost never seen Lava Fit ever land a hit. He was new. <clears throat> Go 
figure. Was there one more path in here? Challenge Beach. Alright. We're going to leave this area. We're going to go to the beginning area again. Just so that we can actually get on with the actual story. <laughs> Abra. I've caught him before, right? Oh my god. I've caught you before, I know that. Get flat. wasn't in this. That means that we finally get the uh, the opposite side of Gengar. <coughs> Alakazam. I would be very surprised if Alakazam doesn't end up getting his own uh, fake Antimax. This Pokemon uses its psychic powers while it sleeps. The contents of Abra's dreams affect the powers of the, that the Pokemon wields. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> to the box with you. Uh, I'm actually going to go to the store real quick. We're going to buy some Ultra Balls. How about a good hundred of them? And we're going to buy a bunch of these. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> uh, actually, let's let's sell real quick. Uh, rare ore that can be obtained in the Isle of Armor. Something good will happen if you give it to a collector. Okay. Good. And let's check where we're standing. <clears throat> 26, 28. Okay, I'm right on point. Great. All right, we're going to take a quick little BRB. <clears throat> I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get that Chansey. We're going to get that Whale. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. Okay. 
Where is it? Come on. Where are you? There we go. Be right back.